Why is Prince Edward Island considered one of the hottest markets in Canada, and why are so many people moving to PEI? Well, one of those reasons might be that our prices are about half or less of the average throughout the rest of the nation, hovering around $340,000 Canadian as of last quarter. People are coming to PEI in droves. They love the beaches, the golf courses, the wharfs, the fresh seafood, and the list goes on and on. I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland. Welcome to the first edition of PEI Real Estate Market Watch. Today I'm going to go through very quickly a dozen or more new listings that I've listed, and I'm going to give you the opportunity at the end of this video to set up a real-time search. So without delay, let's look at property number one. 32 Driftwood is a seasonal cottage. This cottage is located on just over of seven acres of waterfront property with access to your own private beach for miles and miles. And you have a view of Boughton Island, which is uninhabited, owned by the province, and it's one of the largest islands other than PEI in the province. So that's 32 Driftwood. 25 Elizabeth is in Alberton, which is an awesome community west of Summerside. This is a massive, massive house on a super huge building lot. You get tons of value at this price. Check out 25 Elizabeth. 250 Old Post Road is a super well-maintained house. It's rural, but it's close enough to Summerside and the bridge in Charlottetown that you're not going to feel like you're out in the country. This is an extremely well-maintained house on a private, maturely treed lot, and it is gorgeous. The basement isn't finished, so you can almost add another third of square footage on this number. If you wanted to expand, check out 250 Old Post Road. 294 Bruce Point Road is in Launching, which would be east of Charlottetown. It is a really cool cottage that's priced to sell. It is on the water. You've got one of the nicest beaches in the area. Check out 294 Bruce Point Road. 56 Shipwreck is another waterfront listing that's totally exciting. You've got the view of a lighthouse, you've got Sandy Beach, you've got access to a wharf in the Farage Harbor. This is located in Monticello, east of Charlottetown, and it is 56 Shipwreck. Check it out. 124 McLaughlin Highlands is in Stanhope, which is probably one of the most scenic areas on the island. This is located within seconds to a golf course. It's right on the water. This house is massive. It was used as a, as a bed and breakfast years ago. It has a separate detached garage, which could also function as additional living space or a bunkie. That is 124 McLaughlin Highlands. 522 Capital is a super unique waterfront property that has commercial potential. It's a house that sits on what could be considered a double lot. You may be able to develop this into a retail opportunity or something else. The house is very well maintained and has some of the nicest views of the river you're going to find in PEI. That's 522 Capital Drive. 35 Tucker's Way is only about a year old. It is absolutely gorgeous. It screams luxury. There's so much I could tell you about this house. It would take me a half an hour. But check out the video. It is covering it very well. It backs onto the park. You've got a fire pit, even though you're located in one of the fastest growing communities in PEI, which is Stratford, across the Hillsborough River from Charlottetown. 35 Tucker's Way. Don't miss this one. 2093 Middleton Road is exactly that. It's located almost in the middle of PEI, maybe a little further to the west. 2093 Middleton is perfect if you want to do a horse farm or some sort of mini farming. It has a little pond, and in addition to the very nicely well-done house on one level, it also has a cottage at the back of the property, and it sits on acreage. You've got outbuildings, you've got paddocks, you've got everything that makes the PEI country dream come true. This is 2093 Middleton Road. Slipping across the river from the capital of Charlottetown, we have Mermaid next to Stratford, and this home I could give you a long, long list of the building materials and the quality and the craftsmanship that went into this, but I won't do it in this video. You'll have to check out the entire video to find out more. But it's just an extremely well done home. We had it sold within the first week, but unfortunately it fell through. So it's back up on the market. This is 152 Heritage River Road. You are going to love this home from top to bottom. If you're looking for an exceptional waterfront home that will offer you privacy and seclusion, check out 141 Point View. 
And just as the road name sounds, you are sitting on a point with a view. I don't think the views get any better than this anywhere in the country. Check out 141 Point View. Are you looking for something with a little more space? Then you need to check out 1367 Mill River Road. This house is just over 12,000 square feet. It is absolutely amazing. It is a castle. You are not going to find properties like this typically in PEI. So you have the opportunity now to own one. So check out 1367 Mill River Road. If you're looking for an absolutely spotless, super clean, feels like new house, you have found it all on one level with a completely finished basement, double car garage on an exceptionally well landscaped and private lot. Check out 15 Eagle in Cornwall. That's 15 Eagle. This house is not a drive by. You have to go through it and see what these people have done. It's incredible from top to bottom. A couple things before you go. Do you want Prince Edward Island active listings emailed to you automatically the second they come on the system, regardless of who the agent or broker is? Check out the description below to get that set up and get you informed as to what's selling in PEI that fits your specific criteria. In addition to that, be sure to subscribe to the channel, press the little bell symbol beside it, give this video a thumbs up if you want listings before they hit MLS, and PEI real estate tips, tricks, and traps. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and I hope the weather is wonderful for you.